Hello friends of fast electric boats. As you can see, I have a fountain here. It's a fountain from Boats Custom Made, one meter 50. And it's equipped with um, two um, triple S uh, 56 104 and two Deluxe 250 speed controllers. When you run such boats um, with Deluxe speed controllers, you're facing a hold time issue. Uh, so if something goes wrong with the wiring between receiver and speed controller, with the power supply of the receiver, whatever, and the ESC is still working, it keeps the current operation point for three seconds. So if your um, receiver has an issue and you're running full throttle, the boat will continue with three, uh, will continue with full throttle for three seconds. Um, at certain events, such behavior of boats is forbidden. So you're not allowed to operate such a boat this way there. And um, of course, it's a safety issue. What I found on the internet is this Yuki failsafe module. Um, of course, the thought was um, some people in some fast electric uh, boat boards built some modules themselves. I'm not so deep into electrics, so I don't want to build such with surface mounted devices and soldering and so on. Programming some controllers, I don't like that. So I tried to figure out whether this module also works for this issue. As long as the module is the way it comes, it does not. So once you switch off the power of the receiver, um, this module also loses power, and that's it. The behavior is exactly the same between the two motors, no matter whether there is a failsafe module installed or not. Um, this is actually difficult to judge uh, as there's no description on this uh, failsafe module apart from you can program it somehow. You can do a setting. They don't say more than that. So what I modified is I worked out that the power of the failsafe module is not cut off um, immediately. So you see a small diet here, a small resistor, and a capacitor. This test at first did not work, but you see the big capacitor in behind, it's 2200 microfarad, and now I do have a change in cutoff behavior, so the whole time issue is solved. So what you see here now is I have two hold modules, two fill safe modules, sorry, um, this one here is not uh, modified, this one is modified. When I switch off the uh, receiver, you see the one with the capacitors modified has a reaction, the other one just loses power. Um, if you switch it on again, they're both there again. So now I'm going to remove everything I'm, that I don't need for the test with the motor on RPM. So the second module can go out. Um, one speed controller has this failsafe module installed. The other speed controller is directly connected to the uh, receiver. So um, you will see the difference in hold time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to operate both motors. You see the both propellers. I'm not going to do it at full speed, it's not in the water. I don't want to ruin the material. So I just run them and then I switch off the receiver. This motor has no failsafe module and the whole time lets the motor spin for further three seconds. In the operation point that was chosen before, it could be full throttle. The other one is switched off immediately once the red diet indicates that the failsafe module is getting active. So 
the description of the Yuki failsafe module on the internet is pretty poor. You don't really know what you get, but you can definitely modify it with quite low effort. Here you see the modification. Uh, it's pretty simple. The diet is a one-way street for current. So only current goes in. And when I switch off the uh, receiver, uh, the capacitor is not uh, supplying the receiver, but it's supplying the failsafe module. So the failsafe module has a time advantage and can detect that the signal of the receiver drops. This is detected and the reaction of the failsafe module is correct. Um, the time advantage just having the small capacitor was too small. With the big capacitor, it looks pretty good. Whether it really has to be that big, it's 10 times the size of this one. 2200 microfarad, 220 microfarad. So currently I have installed 2420 microfarad. Um, this capacity is more than you need. Um, making this nice and durable is a different topic. Of course, uh, I'm not going to keep it this way. It's soldered. So these wires could break off. So the way you realize it definitely has to be taken care of. So you have a benefit in safety, not a disadvantage. Because if this, the wires on this side, if they should break off, you don't have the su supply anymore and you don't have the uh, safety advantage anymore. So you must build it in a way that it definitely gives you a safety advantage. This will be what I'm going to do now. But the general behavior is predictable and good. Thanks and have fun with the speed controllers that you have that have this hold time issue. Because you don't really want the hold time issue and the boat getting out of control at high speed. Have fun.